Welcome back to Godly Motivation. The message for today is that if you put your trust in God, you can never ever be broken. We should thank God in the midst of our trials instead of murmuring or even complaining and feeling sorry for ourselves. Look at your troubles in a particularly new way. Don't act differently when you're going through a storm and you would like things to get better. You don't get rainbows until you've been through a storm. And remember that with every temptation, he also provides a way out. A spiritually mature person has a different view of trials and tribulations than an immature person. A spiritually mature person handles these trials by keeping joy and keeping God in the midst of it. So even though you are going through things and the enemy is bringing the fight to you, Remember that God is able to work good out of it just for you. And most times we learn things about ourselves during these trials that we would never see in any other way. So my friends, stay focused on God. It doesn't matter what your circumstances are. You may be scared. You may be terrified. You may be unsure of how this thing will work out. Most times you don't have all the answers, but the Lord will never put you through what he cannot bring you through. Most times you need to go through these things for something that he's trying to show you, for a breakthrough that he has for you, for a particular type of growth that he has for you, or something that he is preventing you from. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Whatever the circumstances are, acknowledge him and he will surely direct your path. Our God is a supernatural God. When we come to the end of our resources, he says, I will make streams in the desert. I will take five loaves and two fishes and multiply them to feed thousands of people. In Matthew 17, when Peter didn't have any money at all to pay the temple tax, what did Jesus say to him? Jesus told him to go to the lake and the very first fish that he caught would have a coin in its mouth that covered his and Jesus' tax. God has supernatural provision. Just imagine, if you were told to go to a beach or a river just to catch a particular fish and someone says, the one fish, the first fish that you catch will have enough money in it to cover all your bills. It would seem impossible, but that is the God that we serve. He can make provisions in ways that you do not understand. My friends, God is able to do what you are not able to do. He is not limited by what you don't have. He is not limited by your education and he is not limited by your career or what other people say about you. You may be barely getting by even as you listen this message, but you are going to come out more than enough. You are going to come out victorious. God is an overflow God, so my friends, do not live in a lack mentality. Do not live in a limited mindset mentality. Have an abundant mentality. Put your focus on the Lord and the fact that He is able to do the impossible. Your friends, your boss, or even people who have made promises to you cannot do what God can do. You have to prosper in your mind before you can prosper in your circumstances. You have to give God permission to bless you. You have to show him that you trust him. You have to show him that you believe that he is able to come through even when other people doubt you and doubt him. If you are thinking that you are stuck, if you're thinking that no one else can move you, then you have the wrong mindset. You're only looking at things in the natural. You have to realize that God is indeed supernatural. He is not having a down year. The Lord does not go through a recession. He does not go through job firings. He does not go through health issues. He does not take vacations. He's not wondering how to cope with inflation or the price of a house or even the issues that you and everyone else has in their life. No, God owns it all. He is able to do what no one can do. He is your source. So be grateful for your job. 
and your income. Be grateful for what you have, even if you still are striving for more. Know that God is not dependent on what you have in your bank account. He is not dependent by what the doctor says. He is not dependent on what everyone else can see. He is not looking at your qualifications. He is looking at your heart. He sees how faithful you are. He sees how you always keep him first place, how you have a desire to help everyone around you and to accomplish that dream that seems too big for you. God wants to step in. He wants to show you supernatural increase, but you can cancel this out if you have a negative tongue. Always remember that life and death are in the power of the tongue. If you have a poor mouth, you're going to have a poor life. The choice is yours. You can choose to speak life and abundance or you can choose to speak death and lack. You can speak not enough or you can speak more than enough. Have a new perspective. Psalms 35 and verse 27 says, Let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, who takes pleasure in the prosperity of his children. You're supposed to go around continually and say, God takes pleasure in prospering me. Get in agreement with God and make that your declaration. You're going to see supernatural provision and doors will start to open for you suddenly. You will start to experience good breaks and opportunities will begin to find you. You're going to be awestruck. You're going to be amazed at the real, true, and powerful goodness of God. As per usual, I'm just going to say a quick morning prayer with you here. You can just follow along while I pray. Father, I thank you that you have established times to bring promises to pass in my life. I thank you that even when I feel doubt and uncertainty, you are there for me and I can reach out to you for strength and reassurance at any time. I ask you, Father God, to give me the grace to accept your timing and to wait patiently, knowing that you have already scheduled things for me, even though I cannot see around the corner. I believe that my life is in your hands. I believe that everything is in your hands. I believe that everything that I am believing you for is in your hands. When I see things happening around me and I cannot come to grips as how to get over them, I thank you that you can give me the strength, the knowledge, the resources and the intelligence to overcome them through you. I thank you that I can be strong in you even when I feel weak in my faith, even when I feel weak in my job, even when I feel weak in my own body. I thank you that you can make the provision even when I don't see the vision. I thank you that I can speak life over my situations and I can see changes happening. I thank you, Father God, that you are there to hear me even when I am not perfect, even when I mess up, even when I forget to pray sometimes, even when sometimes, Lord, we even doubt you because of our human nature and we feel sad. I ask you, Father God, to strengthen everyone hearing my voice right now. We all have our own situations and our own circumstances. Bless our families and open doors for us that no one can shut. Thank you for your provisions. Thank you for your promises. And I thank you, Father God, for the victory. We look to you and we thank you that nothing good with you withhold from those who walk upright. Help everyone hearing my voice to start to see you manifested powerfully in their life. People who need homes, people who need to pay their bills, people who have family issues, issues with their children, school fees, doctor bills, car notes, house mortgages. We ask you to come through and make things new for all of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you've made it this far in this video, I simply ask you to just give this a like and feel free to leave a positive comment below so other persons can get a positive word from you whenever they listen this message. Thanks again for tuning in to Godly Motivation and I trust that you will have yourself a blessed, magnificent and a wonderful rest of your day.